Today we're going to look at Ghost Inspector's data-driven testing feature. What this feature allows you to do is set up your test using variables and then upload a spreadsheet with different values for those variables. And Ghost Inspector will trigger a test run for each set of values that you supply. So let's take a look at this in action. I'm going to record a really simple test here where I fill in a username and I hit login. And then we're going to replace that username with a variable and show the data-driven feature um, in action. So I'll start recording here. Just going to enter username of Justin. I'll hit login and I'll say I'm done. So finish this test. Let's call it data. We'll disable the screenshot for now and we'll save the test and I get a link to it. So now Ghost Inspector is running an instance of my test where it's going to fill in Justin. Uh, but as I mentioned, I want to test a bunch of different values. So I'm going to come in here and edit the steps. And you can see where it recorded Justin for my assignment. I'm going to replace this with a variable. So by using these double curly brackets, I'm telling Ghost Inspector, I don't want to actually use a string, but this is going to be a replacement for a username variable. So I'll save this test. Uh, you can see my initial test run finished uh, with Justin assigned, but I want to run this test a number of different times with different usernames. So how do I do that? I come in here to the More menu, and there's going to be this Run Test with Spreadsheet Data option. I'm going to click that. So we get an explanation here of how this feature works, and it's got some sample data. This is how I'm going to format my spreadsheet. The first column is going to be the variable name, uh, and then each row is going to contain a set of data. So for my test, I want to have this first row uh, say username, and then I'm going to provide different rows of usernames. So if I flip over here to Google Docs, you can see I've got that set up. I've got my username variable up top, and then I've got these three different values. Oops test one, test two, and test three that I want to use. So I've already saved this to my desktop, so uh, let's give this a try. I'm going to select my file, choose de test data. It's going to upload, and here you can see this is what was in my spreadsheet. I want to replace the username variable, and I want to do three different test runs with each of these values. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. So you can see Ghost Inspector triggers these three tests. Um, and, and for each case, it's going to swap in the values that I provide. So this is really handy for doing a large number of test runs where I want to run the same test, but I want to test all different types of data. Uh, and I can supply different input values uh, like I'm doing. And I can also supply values for doing assertions so that I can make sure that the, the, the values I plug in uh, are resulting in the values that I'd expect to see. So you can see here, uh, it's run through my results. Here are the latest three. This is test three. That was the last one to finish. Um, so we think this is a really handy feature that will allow people to run their tests in bulk. Um, we've got some documentation on the website, and we hope it'll be useful to you.